That's the big question. Hey, good morning, everybody. If you buy a pack of cigarettes, you've probably seen the label like this Surgeon General Warning. It talks about potential lung cancer associated with smoking. And now the Surgeon General wants to do something similar with social media. So if you were to open up a social media app and you're a teen, you would see a warning like this. Social media is associated with significant mental health harms for adolescents. But would that work? Would it make much of a distance? Dis, uh, d uh, difference. Licensed clinical social worker Michael Klinkner thinks it could. And like with cigarettes, it's like, hey, this causes cancer. If you do this enough, you're probably going to get cancer. This one is, hey, if you do this enough, you're probably going to be anxious and depressed. Therefore, you have to change your behavior. And for mature, older teens, are they going to be able to regulate themselves? Sure, absolutely. They they do have that chance. But for the younger teens and tweens, it's going to have to take the parents to step in. Blinkner says this is really a huge wake up call to parents out there. While it might be unusual to put a warning label on social media apps like you see on alcohol or cigarettes, the U.S. Surgeon General feels it's necessary and needed, saying, quote, that it is the defining public health challenge of our time. A Gallup poll you see on your screen right now shows that teens spend nearly five hours a day on social media. And for some, that number is more like eight to nine hours. We're also showing you what a recent study finds that teens who use social Social media more than three hours a day face double the risk of depression and anxiety. So what happens during this time of the year when kids are off? There is less structure. They're on their devices more. Klinkner weighs in on summer screen time. If it's increased over the summer, that's not a terrible thing. Um, uh, there, there needs to be much more regulation during the like the school year and the school time. I think that's a real opportunity for parents to step in. Also. If you limit their time during the summer, kids will find a way to entertain themselves. Yeah, remember when you were bored over summer and you found things to do outside in the house? He says during summer, so for the next couple months, four hours of screen time a day is acceptable. He doesn't love it, but he knows that, you know, it's going to be a little bit higher during summer. But in the school year, he really recommends two hours or less a day for teens. As for those potential warning labels and when we could see those, Congress will have to pass legislation, Scott and Tess, to make that happen. But, you know, think about it. You're on your phone and obviously mm -hmm. adults too. We know that brains for teens are different. They're not fully developed. You're sleeping less, right? You're outside less, less connection time, less sure. social time. And so you see all of those things that are being depleted and, and it's easy to see how mental health issues can come up, depression, anxiety, all of that. Yeah, 100%. Like I've said before, there are so many layers and so many factors that can go into this when social media is just one of those things. So we'll see what happens if they end up doing anything with that. Thank you, Kylie.